Good morning guys, uh, this is Hari, Victor Uniform 2, Uniform Charlie Romeo, uh, trying a portable operation uh, with my car and my uh, rig here. Right now, uh, what's, what you can see on the car is uh, a 90 centimeter dish for uh, QO100 uh, operations and uh, I'm using a DX Petrol's uh, full duple uh, transceiver which is on the table there and a 90 centimeter dish and a V2 uh, antenna and LNB from DX Petrol itself. So as you can see, I've made a portable stand for the car uh, using the car weight uh, as the uh, counterweight for the stand and uh, adjustable uh, mast of about uh, four and a half feet high and uh, all the cables here. The coax is a LMR 400 uh, low loss Ultraflex and 75 op cables for uh, the trans receiver. I'm using an RTL dongle and uh, ICOM 705 radio and also monitoring on the uh, web SDR, uh, the QO100 satellite operation. So this is as far as the satellite operation goes, uh, QO100. Next, I have a uh, uh, mobile uh, rig FT891, which is connected inside my car. Come over here, I'll show you. So I have an FT891, which is uh, rigged inside the car. That's the FT891 uh, inside the car. Then I also have a CB radio, President Build 2, you can see here. And uh, UHF, VHF antenna uh, radio, which is the uh, FTM 200DR. Uh, and uh, I've done some special wiring for this setup and for my portable operations. The entire uh, cabling is LMR 400 uh, Ultraflex, which is which is coming into a distribution panel here at the back, as you can see, where I have the uh, FC50 uh, tuner also connected to the FT891 radio. I have the FTM 200DR uh, radio panel at the back, and I have a 1.5 farad uh, super capacitor and a distribution block with extensive grounding of my uh, car ground to the radios. I have also a switch, antenna switch, to switch between uh, different uh, HF antennas. And uh, also here on a car stand you can see connected is a portable Yagi. Uh, this is the homebrewed uh, car stand, which goes under the tire for uh, using the weight of the car as a, a counterweight to hold this firm. And uh, this can go up to 20 feet, but right now it's only at about uh, 9 or 10 feet. And uh, this is a boom which is uh, 10 feet long. And I, as you can see, different pins there. The length of the boom is adjustable to 8 feet or 9 feet or 10 feet. Also, I have an AC rotator right now, which will be changed to a DC rotator soon. And uh, this is connected to a rotator controller and I can turn the Yagi around using uh, uh, UPS or uh, AC UPS and which I'm converting to DC right now. So I can use uh, 12 volts DC. And uh, this is come connected also to my distribution panel here with a switch. I can use the FT891 inside, inside the car if it's too windy like it is today. Or if it's not too windy, I can also use my portable station here, which is an FT710 uh, connected to the Yagi and connected to any other external antenna that I might want to use for my portable operations or port operations. Uh, right now, I've experimented a lot with uh, QO100 portable. You can see the 90 centimeter dish here in the front of the car. 
This is the DX Petrol uh, full duple transceiver uh, connected to my IC705 for QO owned operations. It boom, and I managed to get a SWR of uh, 1 is to 1 at 14.238 as you can see. And it's uh, pretty flat across the brand. Uh, 1.2 is to 1 to 1.3 is to 1 with a flat spot of 1 is to 1 at 14.200 guys. So. Go November QSL. Roger, Roger, you're five seven into grid Mike Kilo eight three Oscar Hotel QSL. Thank you very much for your QSO. I'll be logging you on uh, QRZ and LOTW and uh, this is an experiment uh, outdoors for me. QO100 portable and uh, I'm on top of a small hill overlooking a lake and uh, QTH is uh, Bangalore in the south of India. I'm about 60 kilometers to the west of Bangalore. QSL? My handle is Hari, Hotel Alpha Romeo India and uh, QTH is Bangalore in India and right now I am uh, portable with QO100, portable operation from grid Mike Kilo 83 Oscar Hotel, QSL. QSL. Roger, Roger, sir. A uh, lot of wind here. The uh, mic, uh, the grid locator is Mike Kilo 83 Oscar Hotel, QSL. Yeah, QSL on that, sir. Oh, QSL on that. I will uh, ensure that next time in windy conditions, I will operate from inside the vehicle to cut out the wind noise. Uh, view to OBR. This is view to UCR. Thank you very, very much for coming to my CQ call. Uh, really appreciate it because it helps me uh, log my experiments and uh, the signal report. Uh, wishing you. So guys, uh, it's a lot of fun operating from uh, outdoors, uh, whether it's a field operation or a parks on the air, uh, porta operation or uh, SOTA, uh, summits on the air. And it's wonderful if you can manage to get some uh, batteries, some radios and some uh, home brewed antennas or commercial antennas, the choice is yours. I enjoy operating uh, outdoors more than in my shack. And uh, as you can see, I've also home brewed uh, Yagi for uh, multiple bands on a 10 foot uh, adjustable boom also connected to an AC rotator as you can see and uh, all this gear travels with me uh, in my car and uh, I have uh, waterproof cases for most of my equipment so it's easy to unpack and uh, stack it and take it away and uh, yeah so that's it uh, more soon from this uh, channel to you uh, this is view to UCR, handle is Hari, Hotel Alpha, Romeo, India, signing off, uh, have a lovely day, 73, bye-bye.